However, just yards away, a completely different scene. At least two houses here and several in behind directly in the tornado's path. Standing on this bench, I look almost as tall as Oakley back here, but whenever you walk right up close to the big twigs, you get the perspective of how tall they actually are. The tour starts here at the downtown Bowling Green Starbucks and make stops at places like the old federal building. In his case, your own family. This is what is left of WK Liquors. The owner says he made it a priority to treat all of his customers like his own. The perimeter of German American Bank is still closed off by the Bowling Green Police Department. Now we just learned that that suspect described as five foot eight tall and average build wearing a tan hat and gray long sleeve shirt walked into the bank. Just last night, Superintendent Rob Clayton released a video message saying that he will recommend that the district continue implementing a mask mandate. And it's going to be going around the roundabout to Oaklawn Way. So KYTC officials say to try to avoid this area from about six o'clock to nine o'clock or the next little bit because the roundabout will be shut down. There is a desk clerk at the front of each residence hall who checks students IDs to make sure they live there and guests are also checked in but that didn't stop the one man from entering Rhodes Harlan Hall. There are also these safety or these emergency buttons all around campus between the Christmas trees lit up and the music here you can tell it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas here at this marketplace and the people behind me they've wasted no time getting on the ice well you know the who's and whoville taught you about the spirit and meaning of Christmas and that's what we're going to see here in about an hour where they're gonna light up Bowling Green so how does that gonna make you feel whenever they turn on all those lights I think that it means that his heart is going to grow three times the size right 30 homes damaged. Luckily, no one was injured. Probably 10 of those severely damaged. A sudden tornado forming. And this one just came up out of the blue. It just, nobody was expecting it. Sweeping through parts of Tompkinsville, one neighborhood in particular a target. Walking through this neighborhood, you'll see there's still quite a bit of debris on the ground, but the mayor says it's nothing compared to how it was this morning, and that's because so many people have stepped in to help with the cleanup efforts. Cannot say enough good things about our local fire departments and uh, the city workers, the county workers. Even just local citizens coming together to help each other out. Just been going around the street, stopping where there's a plant of people uh, to see if there's anyone that would like anything to eat or drink. Though doing everything they can, it doesn't take away from the fact that some people won't have a home to go to tonight. And when you see such things like that go on, it's, it's kind of tugs at your heart. The Red Cross answering that call for help. Within just no time, Red Cross was here. They've already put those people who are displaced up into uh, shelters for tonight or in hotels for tonight. While volunteers and local workers are continuing to pick up tree limbs, fix roofs, and electrical issues. We're a tight community, and this really shows the best of people when they come out like this. In Tompkinsville, Katie Cook, 13 News. Thursday morning, Parks employees discovered doors torn off the stalls of bathrooms at Beaver Creek Park. A soap dispenser also torn off the wall, along with other damages to the property. For some reason this year, we've had more vandalism than we have in, in the past. The parks director says that this is likely because of a viral TikTok challenge. We know that it's coming from that, um, and then it's just people that are bored. It's happened in Louisville and other parts of the state. Our sister station, Wave 3 News, reports teenagers going in bathrooms of schools and removing or destroying property inside, posting it on the social media app. We have several people that just don't like to respect things. Especially over the last year or so, the Glasgow Parks Department has done a lot to upgrade its parks from putting in new playground equipment, landscaping, even replacing basketball courts. We try to provide nice facilities for our public to use. Um, they're, most of them are free of charge. Making it harder to understand why someone would want to destroy property. We have been looking into cameras over the last couple years. Cost is always the biggest factor for us. Checking with several companies that we have, the annual cost is about $75,000, and that's pretty significant. The Glasgow Police Department continuing to increase patrol measures around the parks. Effective today, we will be starting locking the park gates. 
closing them from 10 at night to 7 in the morning. You know, obviously we would love to leave the parks open uh, later at night. Not something anyone wants to do, but after several cases of vandalism this year, they feel it's necessary. If you happen to be in one of our parks and you see some damage taking place, you know, please call the police department. They'll be more than happy to come out here and catch those guys or girls. Um, so any help that we can get from the public would be greatly appreciated. In Glasgow, Katie Cook, WBKO News. When she's not at school or in bed at night, you'll most likely catch 14-year-old Dixie at the barn with her horses. Hello. How are you? This horse she calls Piggy, short for Piggly Wiggly. You wouldn't believe Piggy was once a Mustang in the wild. And when we got her, she was obviously scared of people because that was something completely new to her. They got Piggy for a competition. I got her for the 2019 Extreme Mustang Makeover in Lexington, Kentucky. And I had 100 days to train her when she was wild when I first got her and we ended up being the youth champions. So good at what she does, she's winning awards. After the horses are tamed through the competition, they go on to find a permanent home elsewhere. It's definitely a very cool and sad and hard experience to give away one of the competition Mustangs because you've built this awesome bond for 100 days and you've put your heart and soul into them. But it's the best thing because then you get to let somebody else enjoy that magical feeling. That is, of course, unless it's a Mustang like Piggy or Smudge, who likes to smile for the camera. Smile at her. Smile at her. Or Rexy. These are Dixie's three horses that she says she got attached to and knew she had to keep. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Not only are they more than calm enough to approach, but she can communicate with them so well they can do tricks. Down. Down. Good girl. Whenever we first get them, it's definitely a, a waiting game and a lot of taking time and just having a lot of patience to sit there and be willing to wait all day for the smallest little movement. Good girl. From jumping over barrels. Good girl. To sitting on command. Sit. Sit. Good girl. She also can ride one of them without even using a bridle. They're all controlled off of just your voice and your legs so you're having to teach them what your legs mean in this position in this position so that they know all those different little subtle cues. Dixie's mother Morgan also having a love for horses. It's been wonderful having my daughter want to be at the barn want to do things and it's it's great for us. She says she couldn't be more proud of her daughter's accomplishments. You're good. We communicate every day about something that we love doing. So getting her, getting her involved has been great for me and being able to watch her be successful and be good at it is even more rewarding because she's definitely surpassed my abilities. I've trained horses, I've ridden horses, I've started wild horses, but she's better than me. It's definitely a sight to be seen. Thank you. A natural ability and talent to communicate with the animals she loves so much. And when the hard work is done, she loves to just enjoy their company. Oh, yes. I ride every day that I possibly can just, just because I love it. In Hart County, Katie Cook. Bow. WBKO News.